The Chinese remainder theorem is a result about congruences in number theory and its generalizations in abstract algebra. It was first published in the 3rd to 5th centuries by the Chinese mathematician Sun Tzu. In its basic form, the Chinese remainder theorem will determine a number n that, when divided by some given divisors, leaves given remainders. For example, what is the lowest number n act when divided by 3 leaves a remainder of 2, when divided by 5 leaves a remainder of 3, and when divided by 7 leaves a remainder of 2? Theorem Statement The original form of the theorem, which is contained in the 5th century book Sun Tzu's mathematical classic by the Chinese mathematician Sun Tzu and later generalized with a complete Solution called Dian Shu in Qin Jiu Shao's 1247 mathematical treatise in nine sections is a statement about simultaneous congruences. Suppose n1, nk are positive integers that are pairwise coprime. Then, for any given sequence of integers a1, act there exists an integer x solving the following system of simultaneous congruences. Furthermore, all solutions x of this system are congruent modulo the product n equals n1, nk. Hence sometimes, the simultaneous congruences can be solved even if the near not pairwise coprime. A solution x exists if and only if. All solutions x are then congruent modulo the least common multiple of the knee. Sun Tzu's work contains neither a proof nor a full algorithm. What amounts to an algorithm for solving this problem was described by Ayabata. Special cases of the Chinese remainder theorem were also known to Brahmagupta, and appear in Fibonacci's Liber Abbasi. A modern restatement of the theorem in algebraic language is that for a positive integer with prime factorization we have the isomorphism between a ring and the direct product of its prime power parts. The theorem can also be restated in the language of combinatorics as the fact that the infinite arithmetic progressions of integers form a heli family, existence and uniqueness. The existence and uniqueness of the solution can easily be seen through a non-constructive argument. There are n equals n1, nk different k tuples of remainders. Let us call this set R. On the other hand, n equals number 1, n, and each element of 1, n, corresponds to an element of R. Can two numbers a, b, 1, n, correspond to the same member of R? That is, can they have the same set of remainders when divided by n1, nk? If they did then a minus b would be divisible by each knee. Since the knee are relatively prime, a minus b would be divisible by their product, n, but, as 0 less than, a minus b, less than n, this can't be, so this function, 1, n, r, is 1 to 1. Since number, 1, n, equals hash r, it must be onto as well. Thus we have established the existence of a bijection. Existence can be seen by an explicit construction of x. Let a minus 1 b denote the multiplicative inverse of a given by the extended Euclidean algorithm. It is defined exactly when a and b are co-prime. The following construction explains why this condition is needed. Case of two equations consider the system. Since GCD equals 1, Bez outside entity implies. This is true because we are using the inverses provided by the extended Euclidean algorithm for any other inverses. This would not necessarily be true, but still be valid. Multiplying both sides by x, we get if we take the congruence modulo n1 for the right-hand side expression. It is readily seen that but we know that x a1. Thus this suggests that the coefficient of the first term on the right-hand side expression can be replaced by a1. Similarly, we can show that the coefficient of the second term can be substituted by a2. We can now define the value and it is seen to satisfy both congruences. For example, general case the same type of construction works in the general case of k-congruence equations. 
Let n equals n1, nk be the product of every modulus then define and this is seen to satisfy the system of congruences by a similar calculation as before, finding the solution with basic algebra and modular arithmetic. For example, consider the problem of finding an integer x such that brute force approach a brute force approach converts these congruences into sets and writes. The elements out to the product of 3 times 4 times 5 equals 60. x, 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, 20, 23, 26, 29, 32, 35, 38, 41, 44, 47, 50, 53, 56, 59, 62, 65, 68, 71, 74, x, 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, 23, 27, 31, 35, 39, 43, 47, 51, 55, 59, 63, 67, 71, 75, 79, x, 1, 6, 11, 16, 21, 26, 31, 36, 41, 46, 51, 56, 61, 66, 71, 76, 81, 86, 91, 96. To find an x that satisfies all three congruences, intersect the three sets to get x, 11, 71, which can be expressed as algebraic approach. Another way to find a solution is with basic algebra, modular arithmetic, and stepwise substitution. We start by translating these congruences into equations for some t, s, and u. Start by substituting the x from the first equation into the second congruence, meaning that t equals 3 plus 4s for some integer s. Substitute t into the first equation. Substitute this x into the third congruence, meaning that s equals 0 plus 5u for some integer u. Finally, so, we have solutions, 11, 71, 131, 191. Notice that 60 equals LCM. If the moduli are pairwise co-prime, the solutions will be congruent modulo their product. A constructive algorithm to find the solution. The following algorithm only applies if the near pairwise co-prime. Suppose, as above, that a solution is required for the system of congruences. Define n equals n1, nk. For each i, the integers ni and n, ni are co-prime. Using the extended Euclidean algorithm we can find re, cz such that re ni plus sin, ni equals 1. Substitute a for sin, ni, to arrive at re ni plus a equals 1. So the remainder of a divided by ni is 1. On the other hand, a equals sin, ni, guarantees that nj divides a for ji. To summarize, because of this, and the multiplication rules allowed in congruences, one solution to the system of simultaneous congruences is, for example, consider the problem of finding an integer x such that using the extended Euclidean algorithm for x modulo 3 and 20, 4 times 5. We find times 3 plus 2 times 20 equals 1, i.e. e1 equals 40. For x modulo 4 and 15, 3 times 5, we get times 4 plus 3 times 15 equals 1, i.e., e2 equals 45. Finally, for x modulo 5 and 12, 3 times 4, we get 5 times 5 plus times 12 equals 1, i.e., e3 equals minus 24. A solution x is therefore 2 times 40 plus 3 times 45 plus 1 times equals 191. All other solutions are congruent to 191 modulo 60, 3 times 4 times 5, which means they are all congruent to 11 modulo 60, or in words. Find a number a that gives modulo 1 for a particular divisor, but is divisible by all other divisors. Multiply the remainder. Repeat with all the divisors. Sum all these products together. Divide the sum by the LCM of all the divisors. 
n shares the modulo with the final remainder. Thus, we have a values of 40, 45 and 36. Multiplying by the given remainders 2, 3 and 1 yields 80, 135 and 36 respectively. The sum, 251, is then divided by 60, yielding remainder 11. Note. There are multiple implementations of the extended Euclidean algorithm which will yield different sets of E1 equals minus 20, E2 equals minus 15, and E3 equals minus 24. These sets however will produce the same solution, i.e., 2 plus 3 plus 1 equals minus 109 11. Using the same principle, the answer to Sun TZU's original question is therefore 23, using A values of 70, 21 and 15 for divisors 3, 5, 7, 2 plus 3 plus 2 equals 233 23. Statement for principal ideal domains. Chinese remains a theorem for principal ideal domains. Let R be principal ideal domain. If U1, UK are pairwise co-prime elements of R where U equals U1, UK, then the quotient ring R, R and the product ring R, U1 R times, times R, UK R are isomorphic via the following map. This statement is a straightforward generalization of the above theorem about integer congruences. Z is a principal ideal domain. The surjectivity of the map F shows that every system of congruences of the form can be solved for X. And the injectivity of the map F shows that all the solutions X are congruent modulo U. Proof. This map is well defined and a homomorphism of rings. An inverse homomorphism can be constructed as follows, showing that it is in fact an isomorphism. For each i, the elements u e and u, u e are co-prime, and therefore there exist elements r and s in r with set a equals su, u e. Then it is clear that thus the inverse of f is the map statement for general rings. The general form of the Chinese remainder theorem, which implies all the statements given above, can be formulated for commutative rings and ideals. Chinese remainder theorem for commutative rings. If R is a commutative ring and I1, it are ideals of R that are pairwise coprime. Then the product I of these ideals is equal to their intersection, and the quotient ring R, I is isomorphic to the product ring R, I1 times, times R. It via the isomorphism here is a version of the theorem where R is not required to be commutative. Chinese remains a theorem for non-commutative rings. Let R be any ring with 1 and I1, it be pairwise co-prime, two-sided ideals. Then the canonical ring homomorphism RR, I1 times, times R, it is on 2, with kernel I1, ik. Hence, applications. Sequence numbering The Chinese remainder theorem can be used to construct an elegant Gödel numbering for sequences, which is needed to prove Gödel's incompleteness theorems. Fast Fourier transform The good Thomas Fast Fourier transform algorithm exploits a re-indexing of the data based on the Chinese remainder theorem. The prime factor FFT algorithm contains an implementation. Encryption Most implementations of RSA use the Chinese remainder theorem during signing of HTTPS certificates and during decryption. The Chinese remainder theorem can also be used in secret sharing, which consists of distributing a set of shares among a group of people who, all together, can recover a certain secret from the given set of shares. Each of the shares is represented in a congruence, and the solution of the system of congruences using the Chinese remainder theorem is the secret to be recovered. Secret sharing using the Chinese remainder theorem uses, along with the Chinese remainder theorem, special sequences of integers that guarantee the impossibility of recovering the secret from a set of shares with less than a certain cardinality. Range ambiguity resolution The range ambiguity resolution techniques used with medium pulse repetition frequency radar can be seen as a special case of the Chinese remainder theorem. Hermite interpolation The general Hermite interpolation problem 
Given our complex points lambda 1, lambda r and complex data a j k 1 j r 0 k less than nu j, find p c x such that solution. Introducing the polynomials the problem may be equivalently reformulated as a system of our simultaneous congruences. By the Chinese remainder theorem in the principal ideal domain C x, there is a unique polynomial P such that a direct construction, in analogy with the above proof for the integer number case, can be performed as follows. Define the polynomials the partial fraction decomposition of 1, Q gives our polynomials S J with degrees D less than nu J such that so that then a solution of the simultaneous congruence system is given by the polynomial and the minimal degree solution is this one reduced modulo Q. That is the unique quid degree less than n. D. D. Kin's theorem D. D. Kin's theorem on the linear independence of characters. Let M be a monoid in K an integral domain, viewed as a monoid by considering the multiplication on K. Then any finite family II of distinct monoid homomorphisms phi. M K is linearly independent. In other words, every family II of elements alpha I K satisfying must be equal to the family II. Proof. First assume that k is a field, otherwise, replace the integral domain k by its quotient field, and nothing will change. We can linearly extend the monoid homomorphisms phi, m k to k algebra homomorphisms phi, k, m, k, where k, m, is the monoid ring of m over k. Then, by linearity, the condition yields next, for i, j, i, i, j the 2k linear maps phi. K, M, K and F, J. K, M, K are not proportional to each other. Otherwise phi and F, J would also be proportional, and thus equal since his monoid homomorphisms they satisfy. Phi equals 1 equals F, J, which contradicts the assumption that they are distinct. Therefore, the kernels ker phi and ker F, J are distinct. Since k m ker phi phi equals k is a field, ker phi is a maximal ideal of k m for every i i. Because they are distinct and maximal the ideals ker phi and ker f j are co-prime whenever i j. The Chinese remainder theorem yields an isomorphism, where consequently, the map is surjective. Under the isomorphisms k m ker phi phi equals k, the map phi corresponds to now, yields for every vector i i in the image of the maps i. Since psi is surjective, this means that for every vector consequently, i i equals i i. QED. Non-commutative case. A caveat. Sometimes in the commutative case, the conclusion of the Chinese remainder theorem is stated as r, r, i1 times, times r, ik. This version does not hold in the non-commutative case, since i1. Ik I1. Ik, as can be seen from the following case. Proposition. Let R be the ring of non-commutative real polynomials in X and Y. Let I be the principal two-sided ideal generated by X and J the principal two-sided ideal generated by X Y plus 1. Then I plus J equals R but I J I J. Proof. Observe that I is formed by all polynomials with an x in every term and that every polynomial in J vanishes under the substitution y equals minus 1 x. Then clearly p equals x i j. Define a term in R as an element of the multiplicative monoid of R generated by x and y, and its degree is the usual degree of the term after the substitution y equals x. On the other hand, suppose qj. Observe that a term in q of maximum degree depends on y otherwise q under the substitution y equals minus 1, x cannot vanish. The same happens then for an element qij. Note that the last y, from left to right, in a term of maximum degree in an element of ij, is preceded by more than 1x. This proves that P equals xij since the last y in the term of maximum degree in P is preceded by only 1x. Hence ijij. 
However, it is true in general that I plus J equals R implies IJ equals IJ plus G. To see this, note that IJ equals IJ plus G, while the opposite inclusion is obvious. Also, we have in general that, provided I1, im a pairwise co-prime, two-sided ideals in R, the natural map is an isomorphism. Note that I1, im can be replaced by a sum over all orderings of I1, im of their product.